how to overcome the boyfriend rejection. So there you are, flirting with a cutie across the room, or maybe feeling confident enough to make a stone cold approach. You stroll up and introduce yourself. She reciprocates. She introduces herself. You're feeling pretty good. You make some small talk. She reciprocates. She participates in the small talk. She's got open body language. You believe it's a done deal, so you ask for the number. But then she says, oh, I've got a boyfriend. Devastation! Don't worry, dear viewer. This is just a minor setback. After all, Marcus Aurelius, philosopher king, emperor of Rome, and world-famous stoic philosopher said, the obstacle is the way. So the first step is to see this as a mere obstacle, a mere frame test. After all, no lady worth anything is going to make it easy for you. She needs to make sure that you're the real deal and not some random dude only interested in increasing his body count. She needs to know that you are interested in her enough to surmount these obstacles. So does she really have a boyfriend or is she only saying that? The truth is it doesn't really matter. The question is how do you handle this? The first step is to realize that attraction is emotional and unconscious. So forget about trying to use logic to overcome that boyfriend objection. The best thing to do is to simply expect this. The worst thing to do would be to stroll over hoping that she doesn't have a boyfriend and then crumbling in the face of her I have a boyfriend objection. Before you even make the approach, just assume that she has a boyfriend. A common sales tactic is to pretend that you're not trying to sell anything. This puts the customer in a relaxed, safe frame of mind. And then you just present the product or build up buying desire as much as you can and simply allow the customer to make the decision to buy the product in their own time and in their own way. Consider using the same technique. This requires a lot of confidence. This requires that you don't walk over there like a beggar and hope that she tosses you a few leftovers. Make the assumption that if you simply slide under her radar and be your natural attractive self, it's only a matter of time before she chooses you over her boyfriend. Imagine a salesperson who is absolutely confident in their product. They know that all they need to do is to explain the product well enough and it's an easy decision to buy for the customer. You must have this much confidence in yourself. So how do you use this strategy specifically? First, just assume that she has a boyfriend. Make your approach. Use whatever opener you feel comfortable with. Then say something like this. Look, you're obviously very attractive and you no doubt have a boyfriend. I'm not trying to cause any problems. I'm not the kind of guy to try and pick up random girls. But there is just something about you that I can't quite put my finger Finger on. I'd like to get to know something about your personality. And then just make regular small talk. This is when you shift into covert long game strategy. When you are making small talk, pay close attention to her energy. And when I say energy, I mean her facial expressions, her body language, where her eyes are pointed during the conversation. The idea is to slowly increase her positive energy throughout the conversation. Then when it reaches a peak, get ready to bail. Check your watch or something and come up with an excuse why you need to leave. Then say something like this. Hey, I really enjoyed talking to you, but I'm still interested in finding out more about your personality. Why don't we exchange numbers and who who knows, maybe we can hang out sometime. Don't say, can I have your phone number? Make it a suggestion and be sure to include the part about maybe hanging out sometime. Leave it vague and open-ended. Of course, this is absolutely not foolproof. It will fail more often than it will succeed. But you'll find that it's generally more successful than walking over there, asking for the number, and then walking away empty-handed after you hear the boyfriend objection. Another reason to use this boyfriend assumption strategy is that you may not end 
end up being attracted to her and her not to you. But you will have expanded your social circle. She may really have a boyfriend that she's madly in love with, but she's also got a lot of friends. So even if you do get the number, but you end up not clicking with her, you'll still get a lot of value. Again, this is similar to sales. Even if you don't sell every customer, every customer can be a gold mine when it comes to referrals. So to recap, assume that every girl you see has a boyfriend. Pace the boyfriend objection by telling her you assume that she's got a boyfriend. Tell her specifically that you're not trying to pick her up. Come up with a genuine reason why you are attracted to her besides her physical appearance. Use your conversational skills to make her feel good during the conversation. As the conversational energy starts to reach a peak, suggest exchanging numbers so that you can maybe hang out later. This will get you more numbers, help you to practice your conversational skills, expand your social network, and improve your ability to remain outcome independent during conversation. Try this out and see how it works. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. To learn more, please visit mindpersuasion.com.